Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have some cool stuff for you uh, to talk about. Uh, it looks like Switch Pro might be getting announced on Thursday. Now, it's interesting to, to hear that this is the case because obviously we have no idea if the Switch Pro is real. Or do we? Now look, there's a lot of people out there still subscribing to the fact that until Nintendo says it, the Switch Pro does not exist. And you know what? I can't blame you. This thing has been rumored, honestly, since before the Switch came out. In fact, I think it was actually rumored back when the Switch was just called the NX and we weren't even sure if all of the uh, supposed handheld docking thing was even real back when there was big debates over is it amd parts is it nvidia parts that was like a thing back in 2016 uh and heading into 2017 and obviously we all know how that all played out so the thing is i don't actually know uh if the switch pro is real i haven't seen it uh i haven't talked to any particular developers who uh have been using one uh it's interesting because Good Vibes Gaming came out and did their little diatribe on this, and I, I love the crew over Good Vibes Gaming, and they kind of concluded, hey, we've talked to a number of developers, and none of them have a dev unit. None of them have heard of this thing, uh, so they think maybe it's not real, and that's a fair criticism to throw out there. It's also fair to say that, well, not all the devs out there had Switch lights either. Uh, not all of them had the Switch itself. In fact, back when uh, the Switch before it was announced, uh, there were very few developers who actually had it. Of course, we knew it existed because Nintendo announced it. Uh, that well announced its existence, anyways. But uh, not all the not not very many developers had it. So this happened with the new 3DS as well. Uh, back in the day when the new 3DS was coming out, and Nintendo denied it existed. Other people backed that up by saying, "Hey, I've talked to developers, and they've never heard of this new." 3DS or this more powerful 3DS device that's rumored to exist. And then like a week, two weeks later, they announced the dang thing and then everyone got dev units. So here's the deal. Just because uh, there's a bunch of developers who don't have access to dev units doesn't mean they don't exist. In fact, back when Switch was in dev form and only dev units, uh, there were people within the same companies that didn't even know they had Nintendo's new device and had games being made for it because the NDA was so strict. Only the people working directly on the games or the ports of games to that platform knew it existed and they weren't allowed to talk about it outside of it. So again, if this thing is real, if the Switch Pro is real, it likely has one of the strictest NDAs in the entire video game industry. But that's neither here nor there. Let's actually talk about why we think Switch Pro might be announced this Thursday. This is because a person who founded Xbox Era, one of the world's largest Xbox podcasts, uh, said something interesting on Twitter. And you might wonder, why should we listen to an Xbox guy? That is actually a fair point. How does an Xbox guy have access to information? And surely, if this information is legit, won't Takahashi Machizuki be talking about it, or Emily Rogers, or Tom Phillips from Eurogamer? Won't the people that have been right about Switch stuff all along uh, be breaking news today all over Twitter saying, hey, it's coming on Thursday? Yeah, you would think so. But here's the funny thing about Nick, uh, who is the co-founder of XboxEra.com and the Xbox Era podcast. You know what's interesting about him? He's actually done this before. Uh, he has gotten a number of things right in the past when he said, hey, I've heard this, hey, I've heard that. And in particular, when it comes to Nintendo, of all things, he has stated things in the past that have come true. In fact, the last five things he has said about Nintendo, four of them have already come true, and one of them is likely going to become true in 2D Metroid. So he clearly knows somebody. I don't know where this guy came from before Xbox era, what his connects are, but when he talks up and he says something, especially about Nintendo, people take notice. Again, interesting since he obviously uh, prefers Xbox, but it is nice to, to know that, hey, just because he prefers Xbox, if he's got connections to things behind the scenes uh, for Nintendo, he'll let people know if it's something he can share, and because of who he is, it's really hard for people to figure out where the hell his sources are. So his sources are pretty well protected uh, just based on his background. Now, what did he say? So his tweet uh, that he put out there said, At the moment, I'm told the Super Nintendo Switch 
And he's just, by the way, he's just saying that's what he wants it to be called. Damn it. So, like, this isn't him confirming this is the name. This is him saying, I want this to be called. I mean, lots of debates over what this device is going to be called. Uh, but he says, a direct slash mini direct slash announcement. Whatever you want to call it. He's not sure what Nintendo's calling it. What, they're not sure if they're calling it a direct or a mini direct or an announcement or a trailer drop. Or He's not sure what Nintendo's labeling it as. But he says, I have heard or I have been told it is scheduled for this Thursday. However, he notes, but it's actually been pushed before and could be again. So whatever they're going to show, or supposedly this Thursday, was already ready, say, last week. And they pushed it. Maybe it was ready a week before that. And they pushed it. So he's saying Nintendo's been ready for a little bit, and they've just been pushing it off and off and off and further and further back. Now, obviously, we don't presume they're going to go any later than E3 for an announcement like this, right? They would, you know, presumably, if they're going to keep pushing it back, do it at E3. But you also got to figure... If this was not planned to be part of their E3 show, at least in terms of announcing it initially, then it's probably going to get announced before E3 if that was always the plan. Because, uh, yeah, Nintendo's show for E3, probably already recorded, probably already you know in production, if not already finished, because they have Media Week coming up. And, yeah, Nintendo's not dumb, right? They, they very much plan ahead, which is strange why we haven't heard about their E3 plans yet. As I talked about in my last video, it definitely looks like this is going to be the week because it sounds like by the end of this week, if Nintendo doesn't announce it, the ESA will because the ESA is going to reveal the entire E3 schedule in quote-unquote early June. That's great news for me because that gives me time to set my schedule around their schedule. And today I'm actually, well, we'll talk about this in a bit. I'm trying to sign up for one of their uh, content creator access, which... I find interesting. I think it just makes you an, uh, an official co-streamer, kind of like you could sign up for the Game Awards and um, be an official co-streamer of the Game Awards. It would be cool to be able to, I guess, say I'm the official co-streamer, but like, I don't really care if I am. Uh, I don't think they're going to give you a copyright-free music version of the stream anyways, uh, so it's something I'm going to have to watch out for all of E3 regardless. But that being said, this is what Nick is saying. Uh, you know, So he's saying, hey, it's been, it, you know, they've had this schedule before, and they've delayed it. Uh, but now he's hearing it's, you know, he was told it's happening Thursday. Uh, I have heard murmurs from a few other people that maybe Tuesday was the day instead, tomorrow. Bottom line is we don't have to wait long. I know we're all growing impatient for this. Ever since Takahashi Machizuki said this thing is getting an announced, you know, literally ASAP before E3 or likely going to be announced. He didn't like say for sure. He just said, you know, that's kind of what it's looking like. It's going to be announced before E3 launching in September or October. Uh, and then, you know, it, you know, other uh, people come out and be like, oh yeah, it, it, you know, Nintendo's like going to do this imminently. Could be, you know, you could be, could have been last Friday, could have been, you know, this upcoming Tuesday, obviously not today because of the holidays uh, in both Europe and the U.S. Uh, but yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, Tuesday could be the earliest you could see it. Uh, Wednesday, they announced Switch Lite on a Wednesday back in July of uh, 2019. So, you know, you can't dismiss that possibility. And then obviously on top of all that, you've got the, the fact that, you know, this is Nintendo and they're going to do whatever they want to do. Uh, I don't think they're going to push it to next week because obviously that's the week heading, you know, literally E3 happens at the end of that week uh, on Saturday. And then you also have the Summer Games Fest on Thursday. Uh, I guess they could technically announce it before Thursday. But I, again, I, I would think this is something that they would want to announce uh, before other companies are starting to reveal a bunch of stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. We're all just stuck waiting at this point. Uh, but I, I literally am F5ing social media all day long waiting for the big announcement so I can get it to you guys right away. Now, I will be live streaming tonight around 8 p.m. Central Time where, again, we'll be talking about Switch Pro. Naturally, it's hard for us not to talk about uh, this upcoming system. Plus, I get more time to... I've had the weekend to kind of uh, think about all this stuff. So I have a lot to say in regards to the Switch Pro. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions that we could talk about. Uh, I guess talk about why there's a certain someone in the comment section who's trying to bet me, uh, which I, I, I just find to be you know entertaining. I, lo I like bets. Um, but it, it's a bit of a weird bet. Uh, so we'll, maybe we'll talk about that. I find it to be just at least a little bit entertaining. Am I calling out anyone? I, I just find it to be all in good fun. Uh, I also want to probably talk a bit more about uh, some other potential uh, leaks out there. There's a particular uh, major third-party game that uh, looks like it's probably coming to Switch, uh, and we need to talk about that. But I'm going to save that for the stream tonight 
um, along with maybe some other minor news stories along the way uh, that I feel like bringing up. So I want to thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Obviously, it's a bit slow on a Monday because of the holidays going on and all the companies kind of holding back a bit. Tuesday is when news is really going to be flowing again. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, I'll catch all of you on our live stream tonight, sitting right here at this desk on this set with probably a different image up on that screen uh, and having a grand old time together here at Nintendo Prime. I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.